memorial to Robert E. Lee, one of the best views of our nation's capital is in front of Lee's home on top of the hill. So for over 100 years, ladies and gentlemen, this cemetery has been a shrine to our American heroes. The people buried here have honorably served their country, and many have given the act of ultimate sacrifice for American ideals. Now, some of the people buried here are known to many. Some of the people buried here are known to a few, and there are others known but to God. We have presidents buried here. We have spouses, children, and even former slaves, all buried within the 624 acres. It's the only national cemetery where every war is represented, too, from the Revolutionary War to the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Ladies and gentlemen, on the left side, you see an older section of our That's why you see the different sizes of headstones. Larger headstones are simply paid for by the family. But if you take a look to your right, you'll see only the government issued headstones. In 1947, the Fine Arts Commission ruled in the newer sections of Arlington only the government issued markers would be allowed. This saves space and it creates a uniform look. Now, our first stop will be the Kennedy Grave Site. The President of the United States is Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, so any president, of course, can be buried in Arlington, but most presidents are simply buried in their home state. Every president since Woodrow Wilson has been to this cemetery for a ceremony, and John F. Kennedy, our youngest elected president, was here just 11 days before he was tragically assassinated in 1963. And it was Mrs. Kennedy who said, he belongs to the people. And that's one reason why Mrs. Kennedy selected Arlington as the president's final resting place. You will notice he's buried here with his two infant children. <coughs> they predeceased him and were buried in Massachusetts. And then the family had their remains sent here to Arlington. And he's buried with his two brothers, Senators Robert Kennedy, who was tragically assassinated in 1968, and his brother, the Lion of the Senate, Ted Kennedy, who was um, buried here just in 2009. And they requested a simple wooden cross, and they're the only wooden crosses in this entire cemetery. Now, as we approach the Kennedy gravesite, to the right, we have a number of Supreme Court justices buried. And if you look ahead to your right, you'll see a large headstone with weeks on it. Weeks was a senator from Massachusetts and Secretary of War. Two rows behind him is buried Thurgood Marshall, first African American to serve on the Supreme Court. Two rows behind him, right behind Weeks. Behind Marshall are other Supreme Court justices, William O. Douglas, Potter Stewart, Oliver Wendell Holmes. You'll also find the grave site all in that area of Admiral Rickover, who was the father of the nuclear navy. He served his country in the military for 63 years. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching the Kennedy grave site. Take the marble walkway to your right. You'll come to the eternal flame, surrounded by field stones from Cape Cod, marking the grave site of John F. Kennedy, Mrs. Kennedy, and the children. Walk to your left for the two crosses of the brothers, Robert and Ted Kennedy. And then if you come back in eight minutes, we can all see the changing of the guard at the Tomb of the Unknowns, our next stop. So just walk behind us. Eight minutes, we'll be here. All right, that's it.